this, this next video, which is the third in the, this little series about mobile speed cameras, is about how accurate they are. When I was looking at the data log, I kept noticing strange results. Which I'll show you here. There are five tables which I've taken from the uh, North Yorkshire Police sort of data log, which I'm just going to show one after the other. And I uh, just want you to look at the speed awareness course figures for each, uh, for each site. So this is the first of them. Just look at this uh, column here, the speed awareness course column. Just ignore the rest of it. Well, having looked at them, I mean, you, <laughs> did you spot anything? You might have to go back and have another look, but uh, it's pretty obvious. And you look at them, you can see that there's some really odd results. Some results don't fit the pattern by a country mile. And they're called anomalous results. The result, results that don't fit the pattern are known as anomalous results. And... Uh, I mean, why should that be? And there's no explanation about it at all. As if it was, as if it was the norm. I mean, what was happening here at Windmill Farm on the 4th of May 2018? If you look at the, the sort of normal results, It's sort of zero, one and two, and then there's a couple of threes. On the 4th of May, why did the windmill farm site on the A168, I mean, why did it suddenly turn into a racetrack? <laughs> there are 99 convictions there, or 99 violations. And similarly with the others. I mean, some are even worse than that. The crucial thing was, did these motorists get a notice of intention to prosecute? And uh, what effect did it have on their lives? I mean, uh, for the vast majority, I mean, no effect at all, other than they would have been out of pocket. But for some of them, the effect might have been a disaster. So, uh, and you might have been one of them. I mean, the latest one is uh, on the A1M southbound at Borough Bridge. I mean, the average number of um, SAC violations an hour for the first six months was 76. On the 24th of February, there were 154 in half an hour. That's, that's 308 violations in an hour compared with 76. 
I mean, how many of these anomalous results are there? The ones that, which we've looked at are blatantly obvious, but I mean, how many others are just marginally inaccurate? How accurate are these cameras when they're being used? When I first looked at these, uh, these were the figures from 2017. I think it's sort of self-explanatory, really. Here are the number of visits. Here are the average violations in an hour. And these are the anomalous results. And then that's just the B figure divided by the A figure. Um, and I've noticed uh, some on the uh, on the latest 2018 sheets. So it hasn't changed. But uh, to go through them all would take takes ooh, days. <laughs> so what do you make of it? Well, whilst the cameras themselves may 100, be 100% accurate, when they're on the road in the back of a van being operated by a human being, they're not as accurate as they claim to be. If you, if you want to have a look at the figures, or check the figures, <laughs> you've got nothing better to do, then uh, one of the best places to start is this data log. It's North Yorkshire Police data log. Uh, but it's quite hard to find. So search Google for this, Sites and Routes North Yorkshire Police. That's what you want. And, uh, and this appears in data log. The data log glossary just explains what all the, what all the terms mean. So you click on there. And uh, this box appears. In it is this little blue safety camera data log. Don't worry about the date. And uh, if you click on there, you get a little box in the bottom corner. Safety camera data. In other words, you've downloaded this. So if you click on there, this appears. It's an Excel file. And if you double click on that, There you can see all the figures. And just just a couple of things about it. In the bottom of each heading box is a little arrow which you can see there. And if you click on that, you can do all sorts of things. So if I click on this one to do with a site name, this box drops down with all the sites on. And if I click on an individual site, then every time the cameras were there, together with all the data that goes with it, will appear. And if you scroll down all these sites, there are 500 lot of them. And along the bottom, you will see a series of dates. If you click on there, let's say this one, Safety Camera Man 2015, if you click on there, then you get all the 2015 results. So it's, a, it's an absolute mine of information. Anyway, <laughs> good luck to you.